Recent egg prices have made us aware that inflation is really impacting our wallets, but the ones who make sure we get the food face a struggle as well. Our Ken McCoy visited Thompson Farms and has the story. Guys, we know that inflation has had a major impact on the food that we eat, but it's also having a major impact on the farmers that make and produce the food. Nowadays, less than 1% of the population farms, but 100% of us have to eat. Inflation is top of mind for consumers nationwide, causing the price of fuel and food to rise. Now farmers are the ones struggling the most. You know, food prices have gone up, but the farmer hadn't received that much. I mean, it's very little. And farming plays a big role in Alabama's economy. In 2021, Alabama's gross cash receipts from, so gross revenue from farming was almost $7 billion. And there's just under 40,000, there's around 38,000 farm operations in Alabama farming 8 million acres. Maintaining that amount of acreage isn't cheap. There's a lot of different types of farm operations, so their costs are all going to be a little bit different. But, you know, feed, fuel, fertilizer, seed, labor can be a huge expense. Philip Thompson of Thompson Farms understands firsthand. Fertilizer was 900 plus per ton last year, so we just cut back. We're going to be playing the catch-up game. It's going about missing a year. You do what you got to do to stay in business. But this isn't new for Thompson. Back in the 80s, when the interest rate was 18 uh, percent, the 80s was tough. I mean, that was probably the toughest 10 year farming that I have experienced. But there is optimism. Interest rates are cheaper. Uh, you know, our input costs are extravagantly higher, but you know, crop uh, commodity prices are up compared to what they was back then. But we still have the potential to make, you know, a profit. And relief could come in the form of legislation. The farm bill expires this year. Congress right now is holding listening sessions to determine what changes, if any changes, should be made to the current farm bill. The farm bill right now is about 85% nutrition and 15% resources for farmers. All right, guys, for more on this story, head over to our website at fox54.com. Here at Thompson's Farm, Ken McCoy, Fox 54 News.